So the two palettes we're going to be using today is the Violet Voss and Laura Lee and the Morphe... Really? Not a name on it? Really? Yes, I was covering it with my finger. The Morphe 350 and the Violet Voss Laura Lee. So we're going to start with the 350 and just any tapered crease blood brush. I hope y'all can't hear my TV. My fiance so. So we're going to go in first with this shade right here. And we're going to put it over the whole lid up into our crease. Next, we're going to go in with this warm tone brown right here. I'm going the wrong way. Help me, Lord. This one right here. Oh, Mama's struggling today. And we're going to focus this more on the outer corner and crease. This is my go-to kind of glam, smoky eye. You can add lashes to it and pump it up a lot more. I don't normally wear lashes, though, on a day-to-day -day basis, so we will be skipping that. Don't worry about any fallout. You might be getting, I'll show you guys how to get that here in a minute. Next, we're going to go in with this super, super dark brown that I just dunked my finger in. Tap out your excess and just like a tiny, tiny bit on the very, very outer corner and blend it in. I do use the same brush. It, I feel like it helps blend them all together a little bit better. Now we're going to go in with this Luxie 239 Precision Shader Brush and this shade right here, you know, the one I've hit pan on. I'm not wetting my brush or anything. Just going straight in to the inner corner of my eye. Throwing this on. Then we're going to go in with this shade, the third from the left on the top row, and just layer it. Like so. We're going to go in with a clean blending brush. This is from Wet n Wild and just kind of fuse those shades together in the center of the lid. Dropped my brush. And then just add just a little bit more of the shimmer shades. Alright, and then in the Laura Lee palette I always go in with Tickled Pink right here and just a little bit of this throws this over the edge and I love it and I'm going to go ahead and pounce some of that on my inner corner okay so for fallout literally all I do is take a big fluffy powder brush and just sweep it off. Now I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. smudger brush. This is just a simple smudge brush. And I'm going to take, sorry, fall out everywhere. I'm going to take this shade right here. This is going to bring in a little bit more of a warm tone. And we're just going to smudge this on our lash line. Not a ton either, just a little bit to pop in some color. And then that same dark brown we used on the very outer edge of our lid, we're going to take and smudge out our bottom lash line a little more. And 
and I kind of flare it up a little bit. You'll see why I kind of go ahead and create a baby wing to follow here in a second. Then I'm going to take this warm tone, Lord have mercy, this warm tone brown that we used on the lid as well. Throw it on there. I keep throwing things behind me and not remembering that they're back there. Okay, and then for a highlight, we're just going to take this very first shade in the 350 palette and throw it under our brow. And layer it on the inner corner. So, sorry, I was starting to veer off to the edge there. Now we are going to do our <coughs> eyeliner. Okay, so now I'm just going to add mascara and I am going to layer the L'Oreal. No? Is this? Yeah, this is L'Oreal Fluminish Lap. Voluminous, voluminous Lash Paradise and the Maybelline Last Lash Sensational. I do Lash Paradise first and just kind of layer between the two. I'm probably going to cut, now that we're done with the eyes, the lips. I normally trade off between the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in... Is it going to say the shade? Really? doesn't say the shade on it. Oh wait, very bottom. Passion is just a red. It's what I was wearing in the My First Time tag. But if I don't wear a red, I go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Pure Hollywood. Once I get that on and it's starting to dry, I go in with MAC Lip Gloss in See-Through. Just a tiny, tiny little bit of this right on the center of my lips. And then if you watched my 10-minute affordable face, you know I always do the trick to get all this extra lip color off. Alright, and then we're going to take off our headband and zhush our hair out. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. You can also private message me or comment down below with any requests or questions you have. And thank you guys for joining me while I do my makeup. I really enjoy doing this. And I'll see you all in my next video.